Today we are showcasing this custom built AR-15. This AR has been pretty heavily customized, so let's do a breakdown of each of the components and exactly what they all are. We will start with the stock where we are looking at a Magpul CTR buttstock. And then as we move forward, the grip is a Hogue pistol grip. The receiver is an Anderson Manufacturing AM15, which is a little different as it features the closed ear trigger guard. As for the trigger itself, you'll notice it's not the normal curved trigger. This is a Geisley Super Dynamic series, which is a flat trigger and is also a two-stage. You'll also notice right beside and above the trigger, we have a Magpul BAD, which is a battery assisted device. This gives you a finger release for the bolt right at the trigger guard itself. Moving on to the Magwell, we are looking at an Armaspec Rhino R23 Magwell, and working with that is a Magpul enhanced AR magazine release. As for the charging handle, that is a Precision Reflex M84 Gas Buster charging handle with a combat latch. Next up is the sight, which is an Aimpoint Micro H2, and it is mounted on a Daniel defense mount. As for the bolt itself, that is a Sharps Rifle Company. It's a nickel boron bolt assembly, which has the advantage that it is a lot easier to clean and definitely does give a smoother action. Moving forward again to the handguard, we have a Geisley MK15 12 inch handguard. Attached to the bottom of that we have the grip. And here we went with a Magpul AFG2, which is an angled fire grip. Definitely very comfortable to use. And then you'll notice just above that grip, we have an unusual piece. This is called a Thenar grip. I haven't come across too many of these before, but it does complement the angled fire grip from Magpul very well. It's intended to act as an extra support for your thumb and also gives you improved pushback into the shoulder. The Athena grip also provides a snap-in mount for the sling. And here she is with the sling attached. As you can see, it just clips straight into that Athena grip, and then there is a connection point on the stock as well. And this sling is pretty nice, as it will work as a two-point sling like you see here, or you can use it as a single point. On the other side of the barrel, we have a Surefire G2 flashlight, with a gear sector offset flashlight mount. This is probably what we will be updating next on this gun. Uh, we're looking at swapping it out for a flashlight with a pressure pad. As for the barrel itself, we are working with an 18 inch Colt pencil barrel, at the tip of which we have a Surefire muzzle brake, which is nice as it will automatically work with Surefire suppressors using the built in adapter. And that's about it for this piece, so I just want to finish by giving a shout out to Dead Don't Speak for providing the music, and thanks for watching.